This is very different from a normal archaeological site. Normally we're on an excavation and we don't know what we're going to find, but here we know that there's a potential for them to be here, it's just a matter of trying to find them. We started off with a massive task ahead of us, but we've been working as a team, excavating um, and working our way through the building. We spent the first day, the four of us together, trying to understand what we were doing, what we were looking for, and then within the first couple of hours we started getting bits of plaster work, bits of porcelain, um, and we started to kind of understand what we needed to do and, and how long it was going to take us to kind of get through it all really. Fragments that we're looking for can be incredibly small. We're having to go through things in a very strict methodology. So we're using trowels, which is the archaeologist's tool. Things have moved around, the collapse of the rooms obviously happened in a completely random fashion. We've, we've found objects all over the place. Working for, for three, four days and finding very little, and then you'll find a, a beautiful piece of plaster work. I think it's just a small thing's faces. You know, it looks like you've you found nothing. Suddenly you get your brush out and suddenly this face appears. It's absolutely incredible. I'm hoping for the amount of uh, fragments and, uh, and artefacts that have been uncovered, I'm really hopeful that uh, a lot of it's going to be able to come back on display in, in whatever capacity it can be. And I think that that tells an interesting story of, you know, the phoenix rising from the flames, so to speak. You know.